Intel has recently brought out a free suite of AI tools that you can use on your audio in Audacity. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to download and install them and give you an overview of what you get. The package contains a few tools. You get a noise suppression tool for removing noise from vocal recordings, a transcription tool, which is brilliant. You get free transcriptions that you can use for your podcasts. And then under AI tools for music, it's got music generation and music separation. Although these can be used for various, you know, m media projects, videos and podcasts and the like. So let's download and install it and then take a quick look. So if we go on to this tab here, I'm not gonna read out the full link. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can find the two files that you'll need to download. So where it says install procedure, and this is for the 3.4.2 version of Audacity, so make sure your Audacity is updated to the latest version. If you're watching this, you know, in a few weeks or months, that version might be a newer version. But you'll be able to grab these two folders, Audacity Open Vino module and the Open module, the Open Vino modules.zip. This one is a couple of gigs, so it might take a little while. But once you've downloaded them, you just want to unpack those two zip files and then copy them into wherever Audacity is saved. So on Windows, it's in Program Files, Audacity, and then the contents of these folders. So this one, just copy the entire folder of files and paste them directly into the folder that has the Audacity EXE in. And then for the OpenVINO modules, that's already in a file, so you just have to copy that folder and paste it next to your Audacity EXE. Then you want to open up Audacity. It might come up saying installing plugins and then you'll have to restart. And then once you restart, if you go into effect, you'll see under Audacity, you've got these open Vino options here under effect and then under generate, you've also got your open Vino music generation. So let's just take a quick look at what the plugins do. So I've got some music open on this window and I've got a podcast vocal recording open on this window. So we're going to have a quick look at the transcription, which I think a lot of people are going to find very useful. Um, so let's just quick click play. Gotcha. So someone who's, who's quite injury prone, what would you give to... Right. So it's also quite noisy uh, because we're going to have a look at the noise reduction tool as well. But if you highlight the audio that you want to transcribe, this one you'll find in Analyze, Audacity and OpenVINO Whisper Transcription. It can also translate. I haven't tested that out yet. I only speak one language anyway, so I'm not sure if I'd be able to tell you how accurate it is. But if you click apply just with the default settings, now these plugins can take a little while to get going. I know that ha that worked in just a second or so, but when you first use them and they're caching the data, it ta can take a few minutes. And obviously, if you're doing a whole podcast, it will take a lot longer than this. But you can see it's basically created a label track, as it's called in Audacity and it's created labels which you can edit and it's labeled the blank audio as well. And if we click play and just check how accurate this is. Gotcha, so someone who's, who's quite injury prone, what would you give to any uh, young or kind of um, more experienced athlete who's going through an injury um, uh, mentally? What so it's done a good job. It's, it's uh, transcribed everything we need and it's also interestingly gotten rid of the filler words so all the ums and ahs it's gotten rid of them obviously you'd probably be editing your podcast first anyway before you transcribed it but it's good to know that if you want a transcription before you've edited it's going to remove those it's left one in there the um um mentally it's just you know it's quite a noisy and quiet recording as well so it's good that it's given us a pretty accurate result and then you can go to file as you would any label track export if we highlight that track export other export labels and then you can export that as a text file it's not going to look as good as some of the other transcription services it doesn't have names of the speakers and it's not all formatted nicely and all that but you could dump it into chat gpt or something and ask it to format it better for you or go it through go through it yourself but for a free tool it's pretty good and if we try out the noise reduction tool now audacity has a really good noise reduction tool as it is uh, and we can compare the two. But let's just have a look at the Open Vino one for now. So highlight the audio, noise suppression, and then again, we're just going to use the default settings. There's not much you can change on here, really. So not too slow. When I tried this earlier, it did take a lot longer. Again, when you first use them, they do take a few minutes to cache all the data. Gotcha. So someone who's, who's quite injury prone, what would you give to any... Uh 
young or kind of um, more experienced athlete who's going through an injury. So that's done a really good job of rem removing that horrible white noise in the background. Unfortunately, the audio quality isn't as good, which is often often the case when you're using sort of AI noise reduction tools like this. They're more of like a shotgun approach. Whereas the, the noise reduction tool you get with Audacity, it allows you to grab a piece of the noise and use that as a noise profile. So if we go to noise reduction, this, is, this isn't this is the open um, Vino one. This is the one you get with Audacity. So we can click get noise profile. And then just to compare. Gotcha. So someone who's, who's quite injury prone, what would you give to any uh, young or kind of um, more experienced? To me, it's retained a little bit more of the quality of the audio and you can change sensitivity in that so it's usable the ai one and if you can't get a noise profile it could be useful but that's not kind of a standout feature of this package i don't think what is a standout feature of this package is the music separation and i just want to show you this quickly let's have a quick listen to this this track Never stop, don't get it if I want it. so it's got percussion it's got vocals and instrumentation as well and i tried this earlier it's it's pretty good like you highlight your piece of music i'm just taking 15 seconds to speed it up a bit and then we go audacity effects uh music separation and there are two options you can go instrumental and vocals or you can go drums bass vocals and then everything else so let's try this let's go for the full one again took a lot longer the first time i did it but now if we have a listen we've got our drums Bass. I mean, the vocals sound really good on their own. A lot of them, you're going to get some signal degradation. It's not going to sound perfect like you got the actual stems from the engineer. Um, but that's just how it is. I mean, this for a free tool is really useful. And that could be useful for, you know, musicians doing wanting to grab backing track or podcasters if you find a free piece of music that you want to use but it's got vocals on to remove the vocals and just use the instrumentation it's really quite effective and unfortunately the music style remix and the music generation i haven't been able to get working yet it, it's just giving me this garbled nonsense when i try and generate any music from it but i will do some more videos on this suite where i go into more detail about e each individual plugin at the moment I just wanted to show you what there is and how you can get started with them. So let me know in the comments below if you do give these a go, especially if you get the music generation working because, yeah, it just hasn't worked for me yet. And for more podcast production and audio software tips and tutorials, hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.